Hi there, Laura here from Get Organized HQ to show you a brilliant new way that you can use a very simple and affordable organizing tool. Now, you may have thought that these over-the-door shoe organizers were for shoes, but in fact, like with many things, I store so many things in them, everything but shoes. And I wanna show you all the different ways that you can use them. I think you'll be surprised how many different things you can store in these and how much space you can save. Now I did test a lot of different types of organizers for this video so I can show you what you should get if you're looking for one, but I'm gonna save that to the end because I wanna go ahead and dive in and show you all the different ways you can use these and what you can store in them. Here is the sleeve style organizer in a bathroom. Now note that I have it on the front of the door just so you can see it better with the lighting, but I would actually probably put it on the back. Here we have the organizer on the back of a linen closet in the bathroom and lots of stuff in the bathroom is small and just very easy to store in here and see. You can see we have lots of like supplements, medication, band-aids, extra soap, thermometer, razor, extra toothpaste, uh, toothbrush holders, sunscreens, lotions, all that sort of stuff. You can fit so much and just see exactly what you have. This is in my mom's sewing room. This is the sleeve type. And for sewing, she has all of these different, um, for non-sewers, I barely even know what they we call them. I think it's like interfacing and different rolls of things. And you can even put folded up or rolled up fabric in there. And she can easily see what she has and it maximizes so much space. Naomi from my team who loves to knit uses this to store all of her yarns by color and I love how she can see what she has. So this is the shoe organizer in a craft setting. Oh, you can just hold so, so much. Great maximization of space. So we have popsicle sticks, uh, pom-poms, and then those are like party streamers. You can have like one color in each so you can really see what you have. That's some glue spray for crafting. These are ink pads. They fit in here perfectly and you can really put multiples in each. You could do like color families. That's a special hole puncher. Um, and then we have, I mean, who doesn't need glue? Just regular Emerald, Emerald Elmers, I can't talk, glue and glue sticks, so many of those. And then that is like a chalk drying gun, but also an embossing gun would work great in there. Scissors, look how many different scissors we fit in there. That's a water mister spray. These are some paint brushes that fit in there. And then going down here to the bottom, I wanted to show you, because I know a lot of you have vinyl rolls. It, they do fit, but they do stick out a little bit. But if you don't mind that, you could really fit a lot of vinyl and be able to see it well. Ribbons, we all have lots of ribbons. You could even do ribbon scraps by color or fabric scraps by color, I think would be amazing in there. And that's a little special uh, punch. And then this is one of my favorites, my bead boxes. I have an entire video, I'll link to it, that shows what you can use bead boxes for. But I just wanted to point out that the bead boxes fit in there and you can even put two or three in one of the slots. So this is the pouch organizer in an office setting. You can just fit so much in here. So I'm gonna start with over here, you can see that I have envelopes and postage stamps. And over here, you can see that I have tape, like scotch tape, and then this is really cool. You almost can't even tell, but it's actually an entire like clear plastic jar with pins in it, and that just fits in that nicely. And then over here, I wanted to show you that these photo boxes, I have an entire video on them, a bajillion things you can store in photo boxes, actually fit nicely in there if you want to put something in a photo box. First, this is a little mini notebook that is a sneak peek of something that is coming in October. Uh, then these are my Dymo like labeler refills. These are all different types of post notes. Just look at how many post notes fit in that one pouch. And then these are some markers, and you can fit all sorts of markers. You can fit so many markers and pens. Uh, and then like Clorox cleaning wipes, those are like dusting rags beside it. And then I have like that uh, dry erase board cleaner. And then over here, I have different types of cords and adapters, but you could even put like all the iPhone cords in one, all the iPad cords in another, and you can just store so much in this. And th there's another three rows on top, so I'm only showing you the bottom three. Here is the sleeve organizer on a pantry. Now, I would have put it on the back, not the front. I just did it so that you could see what's in there, but it's good for long items like Ziploc bags or longer wraps and things. So here is the organizer for a pantry. Normally I would put this on the inside of the pantry. It's just easier to film and see on the outside and look at all you can hold, like spices, muffin liners, 
straws, little jiffy corn mixes, silverware, lots of packets of things like the ranch packets, little snack packs and candy packs, snack crackers, even bigger things of like animal crackers. You can just fit so much in here and it's really easy to see. Here, I just really wanted to show you what the same stuff that was in the clear organizer on the pantry looks like in the opaque one that you can't see through. It's the exact same stuff in here. It just gives it a slightly neater appearance. So you can definitely store small dolls like Barbies in here in the sleeve one. They really actually fit quite nicely and you can see everything that you have. We have it over the door here and then you can see that here we also put it in the closet to show you what it would look like when it's hanging in a closet, which is another option for you. You can also use these in a coat closet. It's perfect for all the different gloves and hats and scarves and it makes it really easy to see what you have and just grab what you need and then toss back in there when you're done. Now, remember how I told you I tested several different types of shoe organizers? Well, I did, these are just two of them. And I wanna give you a little rundown about what you should look for when you're buying these. Now, first though, I have really good news. I looked all over online, in stores, and all of them are affordable. Almost all of them range in price from 10 to $20. I really didn't even find one that was more than $20. So good news there, they're gonna be affordable. And the first thing you wanna decide is there's two main types. There is this, sleeve, I call these the sleeve type and then the pocket type. So my personal favorite and what I usually use are these pocket types where you literally just have a bunch of different pockets to put a bunch of different little things in. But we also have the sleeve type over here uh, where you can fit a little bit larger or longer things in. So that is an option for you as well. So that's really the first decision you wanna make. Now, once you've decided whether you want the sleeve or the pocket style, the next thing you're gonna wanna consider is whether you want it to be see-through or opaque. They have all different kinds. This one is obviously a mesh see-through. I also found some that was like a thick plastic see-through. And I did find some that you couldn't see through at all. Now, this is what I wanna say about that. If you get the one that you cannot see through, visually it's going to look a lot tidier and nicer because you're not gonna be able to see it as much, so it's gonna look more uniform. So that is kind of a pro. However, if you have a bunch of things in here and you can't see in it, it is gonna be a little bit harder to find what you need and you're probably gonna to need to label. So just keep that in mind. The other big difference in the different types is some of them go over the door like this. So this has hooks that go over the door and then it hangs on the door. This one has more like a literal, literal hanger, so you would literally hang it in your closet. So if you have a really tiny closet and you need all that space for your clothes, you probably don't want that one. You probably want this one that goes over the door and in general that maximizes space. And I also use these in places like the back of a pantry or a craft room or an office that doesn't even really have a closet with a hanger. So make sure you pay attention to that as well. Now, as far as like durability goes, I didn't notice a big difference. I have some of the cheaper plastic kind that have been used for like years. Haven't noticed any problems with them, so I really don't have any strong concerns there. I just go with mostly what you like and what you like the looks of. I will also point out that this one I got on Amazon very affordably and they had so many color options. They had like pink and blue and aqua. So you can get these in some really fun colors as well. And of course we'll have the link to this one and the others that we use down below for you. Now, as far as where to get these, my personal favorite is Amazon. It's just super quick and easy, very affordable, lots of choices there. But you can also find these in store at like Walmart, the container store. We found some at Home Goods. So all different types of places for you to shop. If you like thinking outside the box for organization, then you should definitely check out my other videos on how I use bead boxes for everything except beads and how I use photo boxes for everything except photos. Links are below.